Professor Marcelo Viana, good morning, good morning. and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Your invited talk, uh, you are going to present a survey about the concept of uh, the Abun of uh, exponents. What has been the impact of this concept in the dynamical systems analysis? Well, it's a, it's a very old concept, going back for more than one, than one century to the thesis of, of Lyapunov. He was interested in stability of uh, trajectories of differential equations, but then the subject found several other areas of application, of development. Uh, from my point of view, the, the turning moment was around the early 1960s when uh, it became a subject in ergodic theory. In my lecture, I will only be able to scratch some of the aspects of the development. This, this has been extremely active over the last decades, uh, and I'm particularly interested in, from the point of view of smooth dynamical systems, but uh, it, it is crucial in many other fields, such as probability theory, uh, stochastic processes, numerical analysis, and so on. It's, it's really a transversal subject uh, in, in many areas of mathematics. Okay, so we'll go back to a dynamical system in a while, but Brazilian mathematics has uh, had an enormous progress during the last decades. How, how did it happen? Well, yeah, it is indeed uh, rather spectacular the way mathematics uh, evolved in Brazil. Back in the 1950s, basically, there was no math research in the country. But then around the 1950s, uh, things started to pick up. And I think that was a combination of various aspects. Uh, first of all, it's also, this is a post-World War II period when Brazil de decided as, as a nation to start its industrialization process. And, um, and I think it, all, it was also very important that uh, a few years later, a number of uh, rather important uh, Brazilian mathematicians who could have taken careers abroad in the United States or Europe instead decided to go back and develop the country. I'm thinking of Jacob Pallis, of Manfredo do Carmo, Elon Lages Lima, Mauricio Peixoto. All these people uh, played a, a key role. And IMPA, which was founded in 1952, I think it's fair to say played an important role in that. And uh, what about your uh, outreach uh, publications? You know, speaking with, with the public at large is something that we mathematicians are kind of um, sometimes afraid of doing because we have to, uh, we cannot do it in the same way we talk with our math mathematical colleagues. And I think it's important for political reasons because if the society doesn't understand what we do, how are they going to support it? How can we expect to have the support of the, the society when people start, uh, authorities start cutting expenses? As an expert on dynamical system, what can you say about the 16? Uh, Hilbert problem. So, is it going to be solved in the next future? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I don't really have a crystal ball uh, to answer that. I, what, I, what I can say is, I find it an extremely exciting problem. It looks like it's around the corner. It probably looked around the corner when Hilbert first put it on the list. Uh, will it be solved in, uh, in 100 years, within 100 years from now? I do hope so, and hopefully the, the solution will bring new, new problems and new, new questions. Hilbert, as you know, uh, believed that every problem can be solved. There's no... Uh, he was wrong. He was wrong, but uh, still I think it's, it's a good attitude, uh, even if it might not be uh, justified, it's a good attitude to think that we will be able to solve all, all math problems. Uh, in some, sometime in the future. Yeah. So thank you very much, Professor Marcelo Viana. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, great pleasure.